Betting on Sports America. We're That's sitting where here with we are. John That's Levy we are. from The Score. From The Score. Welcome. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. John, you're the buzz. I mean, people buzz. are really? talking about The Score really? everywhere I go. Would it have anything to do with that little ad that we placed as you walked into the front? Oh, that quiet, the quiet ad? That quiet that little, little subtle ad that yeah. we did, you know? You're everywhere. But you truly are blanking in, blanking in every wall, uh, whether in conversation Ooh, I like that. or I like that. in I'm print. Gonna use that. Yeah. Huh? What's going on at The Score? Um, well, it's, um, it's, uh, like, it's, it's so exciting. I mean, you know, this isn't something that we just sort of fell into over the course of the last six months or since PASPA has been repealed. You probably feel you don't know the history of the company. We've been involved in the media space forever. My dad was one of the first guys in cable in Canada in the 50s. I grew up in that business. That translated into a TV network in Canada called The Score, interestingly enough. Um, it was irreverent, it was different, it was competitive. I mean, our version of ESPN in Canada was called TSN. In fact, ESPN owned a part of TSN. Um, our guys never wore shirt and ties. They were guys that you'd go to the bar with and who were passionate about sports. And uh, we had a ticker on the screen that never went away. And equally as important, the ticker always had the odds on it. So. It's always been a more open and authentic relationship with our customer. And that's kind of led us to where we are today because from the TV network, we incubated this digital asset, which is the Score Mobile. We were one of the first guys to get into uh, the mobile offering. Uh, took the same sort of healthy attitude towards sports in our digital life as we were in our TV life. Sold the TV asset to Rogers. Um, became a 100% mobile digital company and um, always understood that sports betting was just a part of why people love sports. It's not something unique. It's not something distinct. It's not this mega thing. I mean, it's a big business for sure, but you know, it's just one reason why people love sports. So don't treat it as something that's this foreign object. Just let people do what they want to do. It's such a natural fit for sports betting and sure. what the score does. For sure. I mean, you know, look, we, we see it every day. I mean, we're the second most popular app in North America, you probably know. ESPN's number one, of course, and then we're number two ahead of other, other brands. The engagement we get on our app is phenomenal. People hit our app 100, 120 times a month on average. Um, they tell us what teams they're following. We know where they are. Um, we can see how their behavior is in terms of betting on sports because they're banging the app like crazy um, on a Sunday afternoon or during March Madness or any day of the week when there's games, games that are on. So, and we've, you know, we've done our own surveys and we've done our own stuff and, and, and you know, we know over 50% of all the people on our app bet on sports. And our whole philosophy is this, I mean, we're doing all the tough stuff. We have like 200 employees, we put out three or 400 pieces of content a day, we deliver push alerts like billions of them, literally, when you tell us what teams you're following. And, and people take this data, this content and everything, and then they're going and betting elsewhere. So our whole philosophy is just don't give them an, you know, just make it available inside our home, inside the Score app, and, and hopefully they'll continue with the trusted relationship they have with us, and they'll just, you know, we'll make it available to them under, under our brand. When do you launch? So uh, what we said publicly, and we're a public company, but what we said publicly is mid-2019. And you know what we're gearing up for is to be in front of the NFL season coming up this year. And that, that's kind of what our goal is. What is the biggest challenge to launching? It's a lot of work, I can tell you that. Um, the, the core elements, uh, what people would think are the biggest challenge are not the biggest challenge. Uh, we, you know, we've got a user base that, uh, that's real, that bets on sports. We got a market out there that really, we know already bets on sports. Um, I think the challenge for us is to stay true to our brand and allow people the, to continue to have the experience. It's not about converting people from a score app to the betting app. I mean, the experience for the user is going to be completely homogeneous. I mean, it might, it's probably going to be a separate app, but after you register and after you sign up, you know, it's, it's going to be like uh, Facebook and Facebook Messenger. You're going to be floating back and forth and, and you'll think it's all one brand, all one offering. And I think the trick for us is just to stay true to why we've been successful in the past. Um, let the consumer make the decisions. Now, we have, to, you know, we have to have all the same propositions that the third party betting apps do, do it as well as everybody else does, which we will. I mean, we've done a deal with Betworks, you know, David Wang and his group out of uh, Las Vegas, and you know, we're interacting with, with their technology and our technology and bringing it all together and, and um, 
you know, we're launching in Jersey. We did a deal with Dennis Drazen at uh, Mammoth Park, so that was our license. Um, you know, we're in active conversations all across the country as states open up. So it's not just obviously New Jersey play, it's a national play, which you would expect from us because our users are all over North America and the world, in fact. So um, the biggest challenge to us, I think, is there's a lot of work, a, you know, but we got great, you know, I got 70, 80 technical tech, you know, engineers working for us now who have built one of the best apps in North America. So it's not like we're starting from scratch. And uh, I think it's just stay true to our brand. Don't get carried away with all the hype. Um, we're very excited about it, obviously. It's a huge opportunity. It's a big, big market. I think we're going to take a significant percentage of the market, market share, when we launch, over time, of course. Um, and just, just be yourself. Just continue to be the same company that, that's been our success up until now. And just. Listen to the user. Just pay attention to the user and let them tell you what direction to go in, what do they want, how to provide it to them in a seamless fashion, and, um, and be respectful. And I think that's why it's going to work. And as you look at the business, and you're here at the conference for the past couple days, yes. is there like an only if in your business where you say only if X was present, it would make things even that much easier? think so. To tell you the truth, I'm happy with the way things are because there's not many other companies that are taking the approach that we're taking, you know? You know, only if there were more people that saw it our way or, no, I don't, you know what I mean? We're, we're making the inroads. We're, we're capitals available, you know, the teams are available, the engineers, the, I mean, everybody who hears the story and understands the story gets it, gets it. I mean, you said it off the top. There's been a buzz around the show and and, you know, the, really, this ad that we took, that little subtle ad that we did on the way in, that's really uh, was our first entrance to tell people that, yes, we're for real and it's coming. Um, but, I, you know, I, I think all the elements are in place, you know. Um, you know, only if more states open up sooner than later, maybe. But I'm not even worried about that because our users aren't going anywhere. We know where they are. They're in it. If New York takes a year and a half or two years to open up, our users aren't going anywhere. They're, they're going to be there and, you know, we're, we're um, uh, going to continue with that relationship and make it available as soon as we can, as soon as it's regulated, licensed, taxed, and, and we do our deals with whomever we do in that state or other states. Um, so I, I'm, you know, let it roll out as fast or as slow as it wants. We're ready and uh, we're, we're excited. Some people describe probably your success because of your leadership being bold with no fear. Is that accurate? Yeah, well, yeah, some people call it stupidity. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, listen, I, I think the big differentiator for us is um, sort of an entrepreneurial background, for sure. Uh, we don't have legacy assets to worry about, you know. Um, we did. I mean, we had a TV business in Canada, and I loved it. It was great. But until we sold it, which we did about seven years ago, and became 100% focused on the new product and the new way of offering the product, um, you still had other concerns, you still had other things you had to think about. Now, there's only one thing we think about, is how to make this the best offering possible for the end user. So, um, you know, I, I, I think everything is lined up perfectly for us to, to, uh, to, to move forward. John, thank you. Before we say farewell, any final thoughts? This show's great, by the way. Um, you know, it's, it's like this whole thing is happening so quickly. Um, and, uh, you know, I think I think this is just the beginning. I don't think people have any idea how significant this whole market really is and how transformative it is. Uh, and we're not just talking about the way things are happening now. I mean, wait till we get rolling and we get to be creative in terms of how we offer new product and how we attract new users and new customers. And, and you know, yes, it's about offering initially the sort of products and betting that people are familiar with, but wait till you see what this looks like a year from now or two years from now. We're going to be sitting back saying, this looks nothing like what we thought it would be at the time when we launched. Thank you. Thank you.